if I practice 30 years and I'm still alive, that is a good deal. I said, well, you got it. Hey, the doctor gave her only one to two years of her time. So she practiced every day, one hour, two hours a day. She turned in, remember this, turned in with her movements as she practiced. And now she has been cancer free for 23 years. Today, I'm going to share with you a very handy technique which you can help to enhance the energy in your food and allow the energy, the qi in your food to work together well with your system. When you go to a restaurant, you don't know what kind of a cook who make, who prepare the food for you, right? If the cook has like a kind of a, a moment, uh, some angry, angry uh, moment and, or depressing moment while he was preparing the food for you, the energy can get into the food. And Dr. Emoto, a Japanese scientist, wrote a lot of books on the message of water. You, you, you can literally charge energy into the water and the energy can stay in the water for so long. And most of the food is water, you know? so the water can absorb that energy. And plus, there's a lot of other kinds of energy got stuck in the food too. So even the food you make at home, right? How can you have the food, the energy work well with your body at that moment for that meal, not only for happiness, for joy, and for healing? Now, it is a technique. I do it all the time. What you do, you call upon your master's energy, call upon the universal energy, and uh, ask the universal energy to support you. And then you hold your hands over the food like this. And you send light from the middle of the palm into the food. You say, this food is the best food for healing my arthritis, healing my headaches, healing my tumor, whatever you want to say, right? You need to say that aloud in your mind. And then you visualize the light getting into the food just for a few seconds. And you bless it in this way. And then at the end, you move your hand clockwise nine times. You can do it very quickly like this. And then done. And then you say, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then you eat it. And uh, you will find the food is much more delicious right away. You can have your friend to test it before you do the blessing. And then after you do the blessing, you have your friend to test it again and see there's a difference. And there is a good difference. The food tastes much delicious and sweeter. And you can do this in, for your water, your apples and anything you put into your mouth and even your medicine. It's a very handy technique. You can do it anytime. It's so safe, it's so handy and so much joy. Now when you're ready, close your eyes. Drop your shoulders. And put a smile on your face. And focus on your lower dantian, the energy center behind the navel. And you visualize there is a beautiful light shining right there in your lower dantian. Now you scan your body from head to toe that you are aware every part of your body is right here with you sitting in a chair.
And then you notice your mind, your heart, and your spirit are so connected to your physical body. And you feel so grounded, so connected. Then you call upon your master's energy to help you in this meditation for healing or for any purpose you have in your mind. You can say, my master, I love you so much. Please send me your chi, your wisdom and your guidance to help me to heal my cancer, to help me to heal my arthritis, to help me to heal my depression or anything completely. As I am healed, I'm going to share a lot of joy, happiness, healing, and peace with my family, with my community, and even the world. And I thank you. that you feel the tingly sensation in your hands, in your body. Once you feel the tingly sensation, the warmth or any feeling, that means you are connected to your master's chi. Then you say the password to connect you to the universe by saying aloud in your heart, I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together. Take a moment to feel that your body and the universe are merging together as one. Since you already told your master, the universe, what you want, healing yourself with this and that challenge, now you can let go with that message. Put it aside and simply just focus your moment, how you feel in your hands, in your arms, in your lungs, how you feel with your breath. Now, the first things we're going to do to help you to strengthen your vitality center. Every bit of energy you need to support you with the healing, with any, anything you are doing as a purpose, is from this area. That's the lower dantian. So now you inhale, visualizing the universal chi, light coming in through your skin running through every cell and gathering together in your navel, the lower dantian. You feel you're sucking in the energy through your skin. When you exhale, just visualize light shooting out from every part of your body to the ends of the universe. Then you inhale again, slowly visualizing the universal chi light coming in through your skin and collapsing your lower dantian. And when you exhale, invite any energy blockages you don't need in your body anymore. This is as an extra energy, changing into smoke shooting out from your skin to the ends of the universe. Your body looks like a star shining. And you continue to breathe in this way, gently and slowly, with no judgment. You open yourself to the divine, to the universe. You allow the universal energy 
you allow the intelligence inside your body to help you to clear any wrong information, negative chi, changing them into smoke shooting out from your skin to the end of the universe. Catch the moment to feel, to notice that your navel, your lower stomach is getting warmer or tingly sensation. That is the secret of Qigong practice. When you focus on this feeling, feeling the tingly sensation inside you, you are activating the intelligence, the consciousness of Qi to help you. This intelligence and Qi has all the information to help you to restore your health completely. Now, so I want you to bring your focus to one area in your body where you have a challenge. Maybe a bone spur, maybe a tumor. If you have uh, anger, you focus on your liver. If you have a depression, you focus on your lungs. If you have a sadness, you focus on your lungs. If you have the fears, you focus on your kidneys. So now, what I want you to do, focus on that particular part of your body and breathe. And then rise and grab your hands together. And massage your face. And cup your head. and massage your ears. All right, so that's beautiful. Okay, that's the end of the meditation. Um, thank you so very much.